Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I am here with the latest update to Stormworks. And if you guys do know me, you know I usually don't do videos on the latest, you know, smaller updates to Stormworks. But something kind of caught my eye with this update that came out a few days ago. And they added in this electrical charger, which basically means you could send battery power fully over from one battery to another which means they just won't share power. And I have actually, if I'm being perfectly honest, I've recorded an entire video on this already with a lot of testing. I was kind of just messing around with everything and I got a little sidetracked messing around and it's about an hour and 20 minute video. And I really thought while starting to edit this video, I thought you guys wouldn't want to see a full hour and 20 minutes of me blabbing along of all this stuff and building all of it. So I'm going to kind of just compress the couple different tests I did and what I figured out while testing all that in this well, much shorter video today. And of course, I'm going to show you guys the basics of this right here. Basically, we've got this small battery connected up to the to this electric motor over here and of course it's draining it pretty quickly as we can see but now this battery is going to start supplying some power to this guy over here but the difference being instead of this guy being equal with that guy he's going to constantly send more power to this battery until this guy is full and this guy is going to end up around that you know 60 percent mark somewhere around where this guy started or I guess was left off after using the electric motor so it's a pretty cool system and although it is pretty slow it's pretty useful for a lot of creations out there especially since we have a lot of systems connected up to lights and screens and whatnot but that got me thinking what if you did connect up one of these electric chargers to lights screens and whatnot and I'm going to jump quickly over to the patch notes to talk why I thought this. Here we are on the patch notes page for the latest update, the electrical charger. And although it does just give us a brief little overview of what's happening with the electric charger and what it is, something that caught my eye while reading it was this sentence here. This means you can charge batteries and power components with full power even when the input circuit has low charge, for example, where batteries are running out of energy. And I interpret this as you could run maybe monitors, lights, electric engines at that max power when they're very close to being out of power. So this was the first baseline test bench I set up with the electrical charger connected from one battery to an electric engine over here. And then I connected a torque meter to the top with the RPS being displayed right here. And very quickly you find out that even though the electric charger is connected between the battery and the motor, it doesn't constantly supply the same amount of power as the battery depletes it gives us the same kind of curve if you know what i mean like graft curve where the battery basically the more power the battery has the faster the electric engine moves and as it starts dying the rps starts to die as well and as we see the rps peaking right here we're gonna see it start to dip down pretty quickly here and now it started that downwards curve which if the electric charger right there were to constantly pull the same amount of power from the battery sending it over to the motor we would see the exact same amount of rps and i also tested this in a couple of weird and different ways like if we took multiple batteries with this we could get a much faster rps over to that electric engine over there say we connect all of this in i know i'm starting to build and everything but there's a point to this pretty quickly. It's actually done pretty fast as well. All right, we can run over there. We're gonna get a much faster RPS because we're getting more power displayed, not displayed, more power sent over to that small electric engine right there. Maxing out just under 20 RPS right there. Just surprising. I didn't know that they maxed out at around 20. 
you'd think it'd go faster, but eventually, even though we have multiple batteries in this system, the RPS is going to dip down as all of these batteries are going to be depleted. They're not going to be when they are starting to deplete there. Alright, the next test I did was concerning the lights, because the developers specifically talked about the power output from a battery to light sources. So I wanted to kind of test when the battery is dying, does the light dim more? Which, I know this is going to take a minute or two, so I'm going to just kind of fast forward through the batteries draining here for a second. Actually, it might not take that long. I know that the lights don't dim until it's like 20% or less on a battery, I think. So it definitely is going to take a second or two for our power to get that close. But as you can see, the right side here has an electrical charger connected up between our small battery and the light, and the left side it does not. The left side is kind of our baseline. And we can already almost see that left side does look a little bit dimmer than the right side. We're getting down to 10% battery left here. And the right side's still going strong, with the left side is pretty dim. This sounds like a horse race to me. Anyone else get that vibe here, that feeling here? Where I'm talking about, like, this one's leading the pack, well this one, yeah. I mean, okay, so the electrical charger works perfectly with lights on a boat, even if the battery is basically dead. You're still gonna get full light from this electrical charger. That's really weird, though, because... Although you're getting full light out of the battery when it's literally at 1% here. You don't get the maximum amount of power or the same equal amount of power for an electrical engine. So my third and final test here is testing out if the monitors kind of keep their power basically when connected up to an electrical charger. So my right side, I've got an electrical charger in between the things, and on the left side, it is directly up to that small battery there. And then everything else, cameras, dials, and everything are connected up to that medium, or that middle battery, the small middle battery, I almost said medium battery. And we can throw the throttle using some power here. Actually, we're gonna turn on both the monitors and give it a picture so we can kind of test see if there's a big difference in between the two. I'm not seeing much of a difference. The left might already be a little bit dimmer than the right side, it looks like. You guys might be able to see that. We're getting down 30% power. Okay, now both of them are dimming. Odd. So it doesn't look like this is working like the light as much. Both of them are getting that static a little bit where the battery is dying, but it definitely seems like the left side's picture is a little bit dimmer, you know what I mean? A little bit um, darker. I was going to say less light, but that makes no sense. But it does seem like the right one is also getting affected, even though it is in line with the other ones. I'm interested what would happen if the cameras were also connected up to it, so I haven't really tested this out. Real quick, let's connect up those four outputs up to that, and then disconnect the batteries. Likewise, we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side, connect up those four, and we'll send it out here again. Let's see if there's a big difference. Turn both of them on, and flip it to one camera there. And we start them off, and it's going to take a second or two for the batteries to drain, of course, but of course those electric engines are pretty hungry, so they're pretty quick to drain the batteries. And we're getting some heavy static already because the cameras are getting less power. That's interesting to note. The cameras, just like the monitors, don't seem to be getting a great difference between the two different sides. One being on that electrical charger, and one being not on the electrical charger. Interesting, but they're really close to dead, and it's still working, both of them. Interesting. Alright. So there's not much of a change with monitors, cameras, or electrical engines when connecting up that electrical charger, but... It seems like lighting structures, not structures, lighting components and whatnot, if you do need them to live a bit longer, 
they actually do need that electrical charger to be in the circuit so and of course if you do need to send full power between one battery to another the electrical charger is what you need to use as well so that is where i will be ending this episode today of course if you guys do have any other tips or tricks for the electric charger for me or for other members of the audience leave them in those comments down below as well as if you have any you know like tricks up your sleeve on how to get those electric motors running at a constant speed while the battery is depleting with the electric charger i i mean i really want to know how you could set that up because that would help a lot with electric vehicles and electric boats and stuff that would be a big help for a lot of people there but I don't know we'll have to see what we figure out in the future of course if i come out with any breakthroughs with the electric charger i will probably be making a future video on that but of course if you guys did like this please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with stormworks and with my content but i've never been great goodbye so you need me and i need to go